with the utterance of two words. I do. <laughs> Peggy Flanagan made history, becoming the highest ranking Native American woman elected to the executive office in the nation. By elevating the role's significance, we will bring diverse perspectives to the governor's office. The historic event means more than filling a seat. It could be the start of giving a bigger voice to the state's Native American population. When you are a member of a group that doesn't have a lot of representation in politics, you might be particularly able to articulate the interests of that group. Flanagan touched on the history of the state and the travesties brought on Indigenous people that her office played a role in. An office whose governor once declared that our Dakota brothers and sisters, and I quote, must be exterminated or driven forever beyond the borders of Minnesota. Anthony Chergoski says this past created a resentment of government by Native Americans, but Flanagan could spark a renewed interest and inspiration for Native American youth. If more Native Americans run for office and get involved in politics, then that could have some really important policy effects for Native Americans. Flanagan hopes she can be that inspiration and create real change for indigenous people across the state. My people talk about walking in two worlds, but one of my most treasured mentors encouraged me to reject that idea. I am an Ojibwe woman, and I am an Ojibwe woman all the time.